Hi guys, as promised I said I would come back um, and do a little video just to show you um, how I finished the, but the peacock butterfly. Um, I was a bit unsure about how I do the background. So as you can see I have put the rest of the flowers in. I haven't gone too much of a bouquet effect, um, slightly. Uh, the photo is more detailed than what I've done. Um, I did put the other flower in in here because I just felt like that butterfly needed something to sit on and I did tweak the background by making it much brighter in places and I added some other colours. Uh, when I'd finished the flowers I decided to put some of these in some random flower shapes that are pretty nondescript, you couldn't really work out what they are but um, they create quite nice patterns and then up here I added some of the pink colour and mixed it with the yellow um, and it kind of balanced it without it, it was quite unbalanced because we've got all this over here um, in the original photo, I'll just move the camera up. In the original flower, flower, in the original photo, we've got that flower behind the butterfly and it's bright white, and I really didn't like that. So I added some pink, but it did change the balance. So I had to add this pinkish colour, which has gone orange over here just to balance it so it wasn't um, heavy on this side with these flowers. Um, and I did the antennae which we didn't do in class. I did turn it round to do, turned it upside down to do the left side and the right side I, I did like this. So this is my pencil. I used the arc of my hand to go like this and it gives you a much smoother line rather than going like this and you're unsteady. If you had a mild stick that would also be really handy for that as well. So I'm really quite pleased with it. I, I like the colours. Um, I did notice that the butterfly was a bit uneven, unsymmetrical and uh, that kind of uh, bugged me as I went along so I went a bit darker over here as well. So all about balancing it out really um, and I, I did do a little bit more detail in here and there we are it's finished so I'm really happy with that. I'm not always really happy with my paintings so I think it's important to say when you're really happy with something just for your own, for yourself really, your own self achievement so if you're really happy with your work, give yourself a pat on the back. You deserve it. 